Hello and welcome back to the channel J.I. Colorist. My name is Jody, and we are on day 12 of our Matchstick Mouse Christmas countdown. We have done a page a day for the first 11 days. Today is day 12 and we will be coloring the nativity scene. So um, it's uh, halfway through this series. Thank you so much for all of those that have been tuning in every day. I hope you've been able to catch up and do a little bit of coloring yourself while you're watching me, um, or at least just uh, relaxing and, and uh, taking a bit of a break each day with these videos. The plans that I have for today and this page is quite simple. I have two vellum sentiments from Creative Memories. One says Jesus is the reason for the season. So I thought that could go there. And then I have another one that says Shining Star and it's kind of curved. So I thought well, that might look good. The bottom of the page just kind of over the 12. So, and then I'm looking at that thinking that's kind of good, but it's going to be a very white page. And you all know that I just can't stand leaving a page white. So I have uh, grabbed a couple of different uh, Craft Smart paints. I've got one which is metallic acrylic paint in green and another one that is beach glass and it's just a matte acrylic paint. And then I also have pulled out my treasure gold because we've got the gold star on here. We've got uh, a couple of the wise men's wearing crowns. So I thought that I could do those little pieces in metallic paint as well. So instead of using a paintbrush today, we are going to uh, save ourselves some uh, hopefully drying time because uh, sponging it on will be a lot less paint. I'm just gonna use a sea sponge. I'm gonna dampen it slightly just with my spray bottle. And then I'm going to just pick up, I think I will do the matte acrylic paint first to do the bottom, uh, kind of the first layer, and then I will do the uh, metallic paint on top. Both will be sponged on, and then I will do the treasure gold. So I'm gonna turn the music on and speed the camera up a little bit because this will be a, a quick painting session. Gonna mask off my uh, little mouse friend here, Sam, with this just so I don't accidentally uh, pounce on him with the sponge. Okay, here we go. Okay, welcome back. This page is dry. I did also take a black Jelly Roll glaze pen and outlined and sharpened up the star a little bit uh, because of the, didn't, didn't want to lose any lines. And I also tidied up these two crowns. I am now going to take a Jelly Roll metallic light green and just uh, go over the outside line so that it isn't so harsh and it blends in more with the uh, background. Because right now it's kind of a harsh, line. I think we can dull that down a little bit. Okay, I'll adjust the camera. Close your eyes. Okay, I am going to grab my alcohol markers now and we will get started. I'm going to start on the nativity scene this time and I am going to bring in a champagne color E71 and it's one of my Copic Chows and I'm just going to do the inside of the main, the stable, where the manger is. I use my dark brown that I use for the mouse. Do the outside of the stable.
I'll zoom you in and you can see what my dilemma is. I don't know if this is a window behind this person or if this is like supposed to be Mary because it's like this is her hair. So we're going to make that Mary and I'm going to make it, um, so we're going to have a light pink for Mary. So this is going to be part of Mary. And nobody has, um, so she's wearing a cloak. Nobody's got faces, so I'm going to draw on some faces too. Let me grab a micron. Okay, so I'm going to do... And she's going to have some hair because I want this to be her hair. Okay, so just, so it's a little more obvious. Okay, and then we have, obviously, baby Jesus in the here. So we're going to do a little pink, some light brown for the straw. I'm going to use a sage green here on these, the inside leaves that are on the ground. I figure that they're, get a little bit of green inside, but not bright green. And then we'll do, bring some of it out here. Cows, that's so cute. And I'm not really sure how the palm tree factors in to uh, this nativity scene, but I thought that was cute as well. So since we're talking about the palm tree, let's just... Okay, let's uh, work on our little uh, angel. Actually, let's finish off the star. And we'll kind of start here and work this way. I've got a Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic. And we're going to put this on the parts of the star that I did not paint, which was the back part. So then we'll kind of stand out a bit more. It'll be shiny, and I don't see gold anywhere else. And I'll grab my first table topic question for this video. Okay, the first question is, which catalogs are your favorites? And like I said before, uh, we're going to keep the questions slanted towards the uh, coloring and uh, art side of things. So uh, the only catalog that I get that's art related is I get Blix art materials and they have like a Christmas one that they do and uh, I quite like to uh, look at that. So um, I don't get any other art related ones in the mail but I do like the Blick one. And I do keep it um, for a little while anyways. Now, if we're talking about non-art ones, as a kid, the Sears Wish Book would come out, and that was always a big hit for us kids to uh, look at that before Christmas and try and dream up what we might be getting. So that was the Sears catalog. I'm sure many of you are familiar with that. Okay, now this one, I'm going to get the, do kind of the, this area here kind of looks like it's supposed to be like moss, so we'll do that in a darker green. I'm 
going to use this dark golden sun color and uh, the one that's covered in desalinization stuff and I'm going to put some here for the rest of the straw. Okay. Joseph should be in a dark color. So let's make him coffee colored. Okay, and then we're gonna we're gonna have some multi cultured wise men. And let's see, let's kind of make them wearing a cloak. So these are cows. Okay, while we're working on the mouse friend, Sam, we will, and I don't see Wilbur anywhere, um, so it's just Sam today. Uh, we will do another table topic question, and that is, what's Angels your favorite pink. scent? And so then we're gonna keeping that some um, <laughs> with uh, your white Someone. coloring related um, is a little bit hard, so I'm going to go to Christmas related and my favorite scent is probably gingerbread because that's also my favorite flavor of baking anyways I do love Christmas cake though um, so that is something not everybody enjoys we did do a Santa hat this time uh, I think this is the behind the hat and I think that is the pom-pom for the hat Certainly don't have a lot of I let me speed color this I guy oxygen so I don't and then we my will be back with is not question. as good as it used to be for detecting scents so um not Okay, I'm going to work on the um, grass or the straw area here. So I'm going to just make that yellow. And our next table topic question is, if you were the mayor of your city, what would you change? Well, um, I used to have a home in Las Vegas. And so I'll talk about what I would have 
like to see change there. And um, because here in my home in Canada, we have that facility. And what I noticed, what we were lacking in Las Vegas was locations to recycle. So there was no place to take your, like any type of recycle in Las Vegas, which was, so I lived in a, a condo type community, so I'm not sure if they had it somewhere else, but they didn't even have a place, like here where I live, our small town has, has an eco center where we can go and take all kinds of, all our recycling there, and we can sort it, uh, by hand if we choose so there's always you know there's a place to get rid of things and i just i'm so used to recycling here everything because i don't have garbage pickup here on the acreage so i do recycle as much physically as possible um, plus it's better for the environment and i just i couldn't believe that there was no bottle deposit in uh, nevada so you know people would just throw out their water bottles and their pop bottles and their cans and stuff instead of taking them someplace to recycle and uh, so yeah I would like to see better recycling uh, facilities and I would like to see a deposit on cans and such and because he's not a fancy decorator he lives people in will pick them up the earth for beans and uh, they do take them so. back okay for um to get your deposit back so yeah, I'm gonna use the okay. cool gray five. So I'm just finish off this, and then we'll do the wind the walls. I'm gonna okay. I'm just gonna do a few different greens, miscellaneous leaves and stuff. In fact, I'm going to. Okay, and because these markers make quite a bit of noise, I will uh, turn off the camera. I'm going to do a light gray, so use C3. Okay, so our and next we'll tabletop the question floor. is, or this desk, whatever, would you rather floor, have um, a great picture. wardrobe or an amazing car. So Should again, like we're going to switch this question up a little bit and it's going to be, would you rather have an amazing wardrobe or expensive art supplies? I'd say I would rather have more fancy art supplies or art supplies. They don't have to be fancy, but I mean, a car is pretty expensive. so. And this is day 12 and we have half, officially halfway. So we've got Spencer, 13 so. days left till Christmas, but 12 days left to Christmas. I'm not Eve, too so. fussed about my wardrobe, That's pretty but amazing. I am a little bit picky Thank you so much about for my art supplies. joining me on a daily so basis. This has been hands down fun. What would you rather? Love reading great wardrobes or amazing art commenting back. I hope that you're able to color along. Uh, in, in your own book or whichever book you choose. It doesn't have to be the same book as this. Just to hope you're doing something creative every day leading up to Christmas and hopefully that's uh, easing some of your Christmas stress. Okay, I'll turn the speed camera on and we'll get this part done. Noon air doesn't meet him. Instead of stickles, we'll do that on his hat today because it dries much faster. And we won't need very much.
Okay, the last things to do on this page is I wanted to add these sentiments. I have taken a corner rounder and uh, first trimmed off the sides a bit and then rounded the corners so that um, it can go there. And then I had you fussy cut this out That's earlier when you move the and page. it will go down here. And I am just going to apply it using some clear Elmer's stick glue. And I will just do that on a separate piece of paper so I don't glue anything. I'm going to get glue over the whole thing. And then I'm going to place it down. Final look at our page. The Windsor Newton Iridescent Medium really gives a shine, doesn't it? It's nice. And then okay. we will be done. Thank you for so joining me on day 12. We've page, made it halfway but I think through it our countdown and I am looking good. forward to the next 12 days with you. So let's take a peek at 13. 13 is caroling in the snow. Okay. We'll be back here tomorrow and we'll tackle that page. But until then, I hope you have a super afternoon. Please take care and do something creative if you've got time. Thanks again. Bye-bye.